bus stop. And they were talking about the pygmies. And he said, yeah, I beat, I beat the pygmies ass at that one day mountain. I said, do you know what he looked like, man? He said, yeah, I know what he looked like. I said, well, you're looking at him now, and you sure did it with me. You know what I mean? Man, and I turned around, and everybody was gone. Now, we were standing there at the bus stop, about eight of us, you know what I mean? Since they didn't know that who I was, we talking. When they found out I was a pig lead, everybody just broke and ran, you know what wow. I mean? Wow. And, uh, it, 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 I, I was mad. I didn't like it at all. You know, and I thought it, uh, one time, it was, in 68, they came out with a paper called Little People Invading Watch uh, from the Signal, the Los Angeles Signal. Mm -hmm. I said, Little People Invading Watch. And uh, they say the oldest one is 18, and it's about 200 of them, and half of them go to Markham, you know. And that was bull. We had a lot of friends, we had a big family, but, you know, I, I just didn't like the pygmy name at all. So that's why I fought most of the times. And all through the 60s, it was my fighting years, you know. All through the 60s? All through the 60s. So let me add the other two to the equation. It's what I called the paradigm shift was uh, Bungie Carter, Ron Karanga, um, Craig Monson, yeah. yourself, and... Uh, but also there was Ray Boyce and Raymond Washington, which was yeah. two or three years younger than you guys. Yeah. But... They bought something that you guys hadn't anticipated. And we're going to get to that. I just want to add them to the thing, but let's get back. So you had became the fighter in your era. And, and, and if you had to put a number on it, because I like to call you a hand guy, because yeah. that's what I call them, hand guy. How many fights, roughly, do you think you, I mean, if you can even estimate, I don't know. Yeah, um... Because people was always coming from everywhere to fight you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I say I know I, it was 50 in the 60s. Uh -huh. You know, because I was counting them as they was coming. You know what I mean? So by the time 69 rolled around, you know, we was at the top of the food chain. So I didn't have no more challenges anymore. But once the 70s started, you know, I, I got into a few fights, mostly for my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. But all, all my challenges was over. I had won my respect, so uh, it kind of like slacked up in the seventies. So, is there any one fight that stands out in your mind? That, that, yeah, that, that, Cruz, Cruz. Okay, a little Mexican. His, I called him Cruz, but that wasn't his name. That was a hard fight. We had the same blood. He was like my brother. You know what I mean? We fought to the death. He didn't want to give up, and I didn't want to give up. And uh, that was the best fight I had. I locked him down three times. The problem was he kept getting up. And uh, I couldn't knock him out, but I was sure putting him on his ass. And uh, he can wrestle real good, too. He got me on the wrestling, but when he came to fight me, he couldn't deal with me there. But that was a good fight. We fought about two hours at a carnival in Compton at... Uh, Thrifties. And I remember was, Thrifties. Yeah, Thrifties was right there. We parked right in front of Thrifties. About a good two hours. So why were these people so interested in challenging you to a fight? I mean, you know, because maybe, did they think because your, your stature was little that they thought? Yeah, yeah. See, the, that, that was mostly the problem. Everybody thought that they could whoop me because I was little. And back in the day, they didn't know how to jab, you know what I mean? They throw wow, that's how I'm whooping most of them. I'm throwing straight punches and they throwing round, round houses and all that. Uh, but I learned from Ali and uh, Bruce Lee. Then was my hero. Well, tell us about, what was, what was, how did you learn from them? Did you learn by watching them or were yeah, you ever watching. around them or? No, I was around Ali a lot. Mm -hmm. But, uh. I, but, but I learned how to fight, use my jab from him. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to uh, <clears throat> hit pressure points and all that from Bruce Lee. So when I didn't want to fight a long time, I just hit you in one of them pressure points, you know, and freeze you, you know. Or either hit you right in the middle right here in your chest, or either come down a little bit and knock your wind out. Roof of grind all the time, baby. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Barnes, baby. 
Put a grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm a street nigga. Streets fuck with me. I'ma keep pushing products till the fans get me. It's Guap off top. Diamond Cordier. That nigga wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day. They see me climbing. They see me, they see me shining. They see me. That's hard work. Hard work. Proof of grinding. New money got me tipping in that 550. I leave bad man and I'm so pretty. I got that check with me. That's my hater sprayer. Go big, grind now, nigga. Play later. What can I say?